Why did the inflamed joints go to the party? Because of the swelling music. Hello guys, how's it going? Are your joints working as they should? Or do you feel like they're playing with your health? And that is why you clicked on this video. Today, we're gonna talk about inflammation, foods to have and foods to avoid. We're gonna answer some of the most asked questions as well. Stay tuned! Inflammation is not that bad. Think of inflammation like a little fire in your body. Sometimes, certain foods and drinks can make that fire bigger. Ouch! Well, others can help put it out. Ah! So, if you want to keep that fire small and your body feeling awesome, you need to reach for a good diet. The right stuff will put the fire out. Inflammation is like your body's defense squad, swooping in to protect you from infections and sicknesses. But watch out! When inflammation sticks around for too long, it starts causing trouble. It slowly messes with your healthy cells, tissues, and organs. That's when things like diabetes, heart issues, fatty liver problems, and even the C word, I mean cancer, start to creep in. And now, to control this condition, you have many consuming options, like for wedgies, you can have stuff like broccoli, kale, bell peppers, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. For fruits, you can have the vibrant ones like blueberries, pomegranates, grapes, and cherries. For healthy, high-fat fruits, you can have things such as avocados and olives. For oils, you can get your fix of healthy fats from olive oil and avocado oil. For seafood, you can dive into fatty fish like salmon, sardines, herring, mackerel, and anchovies. For snack, you can have nuts like almonds and their likes, and also indulge in some dark chocolate delight. For spices, spice things up with turmeric, fenugreek, and cinnamon. For beverages, sip on green tea for a soothing effect. And hey, a glass of red wine might just do the trick, thanks to the handy compound Reservatol. And just a heads up, some foods can cause inflammation, like Number 1. High sugar and high fructose corn syrup Number 2. Refined carbs Number 3. Trans fats, banned by FDA Number 4. Alcohol Now, try to cut back on Number 1. Sugary drinks, like soda and fruit juice Number 2. Refined carbs, like white bread and pasta Number three, desserts like cookies, candy, cake, and ice cream. Number four, processed meats like hot dogs, bologna, and sausages. Number five, snack foods like crackers, chips, and pretzels. Number six, certain oils like soybean and corn oil. Now, for some commonly asked questions. Number one. What's the top drink for reducing inflammation? These are the best drinks you can have to reduce inflammation. Baking soda and water. This simple mix can help balance the body's pH levels, potentially reducing inflammation. Parsley and ginger green juice. Parsley and ginger are both packed with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. When blended into green juice, they create a powerful tonic that can help fight inflammation. Lemon and turmeric tonic. Turmeric is famous for its anti-inflammatory properties due to its active ingredient curcumin. Combined with lemon, which provides vitamin C and additional antioxidants, this tonic can be a potent inflammation fighter. Bone broth. Rich in amino acids like glycine and proline, bone broth supports gut health and reduces inflammation. It's also packed with minerals that promote overall health. Functional food smoothie. These smoothies often include ingredients like leafy greens, berries, nuts, and seeds, all of which have anti-inflammatory properties. They provide a nutrient-dense option for reducing inflammation. Matcha tea. 
This powdered green tea is high in catechin, particularly EGCG, which has strong anti-inflammatory effects. Drinking matcha can help reduce inflammation and provide a gentle energy boost. Greens and berry smoothie Combining leafy greens like spinach or kale with antioxidant-rich berries creates a smoothie that fights inflammation and supports overall health. Number 2. What are the five signs of inflammation? Inflammation can be identified by five key signs. Number 1. Redness. Number 2. Warmth. Number 3. Swelling. Number 4. Pain. Number 5. Loss of function. These signs result from the body's biochemical and cellular responses during inflammation. Number 3. How do I know if I have inflammation? You might have inflammation if you notice these symptoms. Pain or tenderness. It should be mild and only in the area where you're injured. Swelling. For example, your knee might be inflamed and swollen. Warm skin. The skin is in the affected area feels hot to the touch. Difficulty using the affected area. You might have trouble using that part of your body as you normally would, like having a reduced range of motion. These signs suggest your body is responding to an injury or irritation, and it may be helpful to consult a healthcare professional for proper evaluation and treatment. And that's it for today's video. As we wrap up our discussion on inflammation, it's important to remember that understanding the signs and symptoms of inflammation can help you take better care of your health. Whether it's from an injury, an infection, or a chronic condition, your body's inflammatory response is a signal that something needs attention. Reducing inflammation isn't just about addressing the symptoms. It's about understanding the root cause and making lifestyle changes that support your overall well-being. Incorporating anti-inflammatory foods into your diet, like fruits, vegetables, fatty fish, nuts, and spices, can make a significant difference. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for incoming videos as well. Stay healthy and goodbye.